Hello. Welcome to Handling Tool Operations Training for Bannock Robotics. Today we will be going over touching up points. If you would, in your textbooks, go ahead and turn to page 178, 179, chapter 11.9, and we will be following that up with lab 16 today. Always look in the book and, and look for out for these notes. They're special notes throughout the book and they usually carry very important information. Like this one says, it says, while testing programs or running production, it may be necessary to change positional data. This is referred to as touching up a point. When you touch up a point, only thing that changes in that program is actually the positional data. As you recall, yesterday, our lab entailed turning on the laser and following this large box around the outside, and we call that box program. There are times when running that you may need to modify those points ever so slightly, or maybe even quite a bit. Like, let's say something shifts on the table ever so slightly, and now the points aren't exact. And to quickly and easily get it back going, you can actually just touch those four points up, and it will take off and run that program and be back on track. But the other situation is, and this may happen as well, let's say they want to run that same program and do a similar thing, but they, but now the orientation, either the orientation or the size of the box changed, as it did here, like we're going to use a small one. This is a quick, easy way to use that same program, follow the same protocols, but the, but the, the points actual X, Y, and Z locations for each point will be different. Here's another one of those notes, and when they're in red, they're really, really important. So it says, when changing from T1, T2 to auto mode, which is this switch right here, there will always be a fault that comes up. Either teach pendant enabled in auto, or it will say teach pendant disabled in T1, T2. This makes it necessary for us to have to actually hit the reset on the teach pendant before we can step on and move forward. So they want to tell you this ahead of time so you'll know to prepare to do that. The motion type, speed, and determination types will remain unchanged in the program. By changing only the positional data, the path should remain largely unchanged. However, it is always always recommended that you test the change for accuracy prior to running the machine in automatic. And that goes for any kind of programming changes you make in any kind of system. Always check that because granted you made that change, but do I know that that's going to work perfectly and work right? If not, you could cause a crash or actually uh, harm to the machine or injury to the person. Right, now we're getting into the steps of what to do. So right here, it says to go ahead and go on your teach pendant, and you will select the right pro uh, select the program that requires the editing. So you will go to your main screen and do select program, which will bring up this dialog box, and you will want to pick boxes, which is the program that we made yesterday. So you select that. Now our program will come up. And you will look, uh, as you recall, there was the first point was home. Home will remain the same. So we actually want to start with point two, which is the first point on the box. And we will want to touch up that point. So you will scroll down to that point like we did here. Then next of all, you have to manually jog the robot to the new point. So we would jog down to that first point on, that, on the new square or box. Next, we will press and hold the shift key and press F5 to touch up. So once we're on that point, whichever one we're doing at the time, you will hold shift 
and touch up. You can either hit F5 or the touch up button on the touch screen. A successful touch up will display the at symbol right here next to the six. Or, uh, or right here next to the point in six. Or it will actually say position has been recorded to whatever position you was at, which was point three on this one. If you happen to see this message, um, the set new ID, that is an alert in the software telling you that in this program, we actually have uh, that position, that point is saved more than one time in the program. So what happens is it's going to come up and tell you this. What's the problem then? It, do I want that position to, to be both of them locations? Or is that other location actually going to be a different position? So you have two options here, yes or no. If you click uh, yes or no, that shows your two positions or your two answers. If F4 is selected on your position ID of the current line, the current line will be changed to the next ID number that's available. As you see, this was this was point one and point one were both the same point. Well, it's asking me. So if I hit F4, it will actually change this to the next available, which is point six, because point five is the last one, and it would actually be a new point now. If you select F5, which is no, it will save this both under P1 as the exact same point, and that position will be recorded. Failure to test our changes in the program may result in a crash or other undesirable outcomes. So at this point, once that's done and you've taught each one of those points, that's what this is telling you. It's telling you test that point. So put it in, put it in your manual mode, hold your shift down, and under a slow, uh, slow percentage of movement, let it go through each step and learn to, and uh, watch those positions. Make sure it makes it through the program properly. Once it successfully makes it through the program, your program's ready to go into auto. Uh, next, we're going to get up and we're going to go ahead and uh, test out this procedure, and each one of you are going to take turns doing it. Good luck. Okay, here our teach pendant is on the main menu. If you select the program, pick our boxes program. I can actually, uh, one easier way of doing it is also to pull in our safety underneath our, our dead man switch hold down the shift and hit reset and now I can actually put it in step mode which is in step and tell it to drive forward and it will actually start the program and step through it down to that point that's our first point right there that we want to touch up so now what we want to do is we want to drive it over to the small box that is on the first point so now I can hit touch up set new ID yes position has been recorded so now I can hit shift again. Drive it to our second position point. I have to scroll down one time 
to the next position. I've hit shift, F5, position has been recorded. Go down to the next position and manually scroll over where we need to be with the robot. Touch up that point. Position has been recorded. I need to go down one more to the next one. And I need to drive. To that point, touch it up. That position has now been recorded. And then my last point touch that point up and that position has been recorded so now, I can step this forward, through each part of the program, and it traced the smaller box instead. Thank you. This is a quick video showing exactly how to uh, perform the touch-up showing only the teach pendant so that you can see the actual steps. First you start by selecting program. Then you want to pick or program name from our uh, dialog box. And as you see there, it brings up the actual program. At this point, you want to uh, squeeze the uh, dead man switch in halfway and reset the fault. Scroll down to the first point. And at this point, you will want to hit shift and drive the robot to the position that you want it to be at. Okay, at this point, um, once you get it to where you want it to be, you want to hit the touch up button, which is here, or the F5 key and it says position has been recorded. That has saved uh, these locations or the coordinate data into this uh, registry for this point for P1. Okay, now that we went over this uh, PowerPoint presentation on touching up points, does anybody have any questions before we move along to work on the lab? No. Okay, we're going to actually team up and we're going to get on the robots. We're going to actually do uh, a lab that's going to show you guys how to touch up points. And y'all are going to follow along with it. If you have any questions, I'll be walking around uh, to assist you. Yes, sir. Thank you.